The report highlights, among other things, the macroeconomic situation of the region and performance of the ECOWAS institutions with regard to their 2023 work programs and their regional integration and program agenda globally. Dr. Omar Ali Uture, President of the ECOWAS Commission, tells ECOWAS parliamentarians that despite a difficult international environment and the slowdown in the global economies, most of the member states have posted impressive economic growth. The period under review was characterized by the continuation of geopolitical conflict, persistent inflationary pressures, high and rising public debt, as well as tight uh, restrictive monetary policies in most regions. Regarding the status of implementation of community work programs, President Toure said some notable results have been achieved. On the political stability, peace and security, the issues that dominated attention of the community during the year were the political transitions in the three member states affected by coup d'etat, namely Mali, Guinea and Burkina Faso, the attempted coup in Niger Republic, terrorism in the Sahel and elections. The ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government demonstrated strong commitment to these issues and took far-reaching decisions during their extraordinary summits as well as during their ordinary summits. At the level of deepening regional economic integration, the ECOWAS Commission had informed community lawmakers that significant progress has been made, including the establishment of the ECOWAS National Biometric Identity Card and the introduction of ECOVISA, a single visa system similar to the Schengen visa. So far, six member states, namely Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, Ghana, Benin, and the Gambia, as well as Sierra Leone, have deployed the ECOWAS biometric system. In addition, over 350 participants from ECOWAS member states were trained on the trade facilitation, facilitation measures to strengthen their capacity to address obstacles to trade and promote the efficient movement of goods across borders in the region. On the promotion of a common market and private sector development in the region, the ECOWAS Regional Competition Authority is strengthening competition in the region. In particular, it has carried out cross-border investigations, market studies, and formulated recommendations to combat anti-competitive practices while offering technical and financial support to member states to strengthen their national competition laws. Within the framework of the inclusive and sustainable development, the Commission continued to implement programs and initiatives in favor of vulnerable populations. These include support for vulnerable for voluntary returns of 299 stranded migrants, delivery of 230 metric tons of food for vulnerable children. The presentation was followed by members' reactions to the current state of affairs in the sub-region, with most emphasis on the latest coup attempt in Sierra Leone, which members held ECOWAS for deploying a missile to social solidarity with the people of Sierra Leone. Members called for stringent actions to bring an end to any attempt of unconstitutional change of government. Reporting for QTV News from Abuja, Nigeria, I am Alusisi.